Dear all, Namaste. Today, I shall be discussing on the differences between adult and the periodic stage in tube. This is very important from theory as well as practical point of view because children below 7 years of age have poorly functioning stage in tube which might have direct association between the ear surgery when surgery on the ear are performed in the children, there is high chance of graft failure during myringoplasty due to stretching tube dysfunction. Therefore, you need to be more careful while doing ear surgery in children. The length of adult stretching tube is 36 mm long, whereas periodic stretching tube is 18 mm long. So, a short stretching tube might lead to infection spreading from the nose to the ear. In adult stretching tube, the angle with the horizontal is around 45 degrees, whereas in infant, the angle with the horizontal is around 10 degrees. The lumen of adult station tube is much narrower in comparison to the infant which is much wider in comparison only. Therefore, the infection again can spread from the nose to the ear. In adult station tube, the angulation at isthmus is present, whereas in children, the angulation of the isthmus is very small or absent. Adults have rigid cartilage in the station tube as a support whereas in children, the cartilage is flaccid. Therefore, it leads to ineffective recoil of the station tube. Ostman's pad of fat is more in adults and it is less in children. All these above mentioned features make the station tube of children more vulnerable to infection, spreading from the nose or nasal pharynx to the ear. Therefore, in Eastman children, frequent common cold might lead to ear infections or formation of the fluid inside the ear that is called as otitis media diffusion and this also makes the periodic ear to be more vulnerable to infection from nasopharynx which are also more common in children. Thank you.